Hey everyone, welcome to Encore, and today I'm going to show you a couple of ideas that you can use when you guys are organizing your 5 gram jars. I know a lot of people have accumulated so much of these jars, whether buying, you know, pigments and sample sizes, or even, you know, just purchasing mineralized makeup, especially eyeshadows, come in 5 gram jars. So as you can see right here, I'm organizing mine because I have accumulated a lot. And here are a couple of, of ideas that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. If you guys are interested, keep on watching. Hey everyone, welcome back. So organizing 5 gram jars. I know a lot of you guys have been asking what's the best way to organize them, and I know you guys have been in collecting these, whether buying mineralized eyeshadows, you know, it comes in these standard 5 gram jars, or maybe even, you know, just sample pigments that you find online, whether it's at starsmakeuphaven.com or any other online stores that you find, you know, sample sizes. And I personally have collected a lot of these jars. So you can see I'm organizing it and, uh, and here in my new loft, which I finished, but I'm still in the process of organizing, which is a never-ending task. Never-ending, I tell you. So, but I'm getting there. <laughs> and I'm, I just wanted to share a couple of ideas with you guys as far as how I'm organizing my 5-gram jars. So the first thing I'm going to suggest is for you guys to label your five gram jars on the lid, just like this. Okay, and what I use is I use clear labels that you can buy from office supply stores. So check out Staples, um, Office Depot, Office Max, places like that, and you'll find circle clear labels, just like this. And to print it, they all come indivi with individual instructions. So just follow the instructions because they're all different. Um, and usually it requires like a word, like Microsoft Word, you know, and there are templates, you know, all of them have different kinds of instructions. So just kind of follow the instructions that comes with the labels that you buy. And then start labeling the lids of your drawers because when you organize them flat, you don't have to flip it to see the underside so you can read the color. So that way it's already on the top and that's going to prevent you from doing all these just to check what color it is or what the name of the pigment or the mineralized eyeshadow is, so that's kind of cool. Alright, so the first step is to label your jars on the lid. Okay, first idea is creating these organizers, alright? Now this concept is exactly like my lipstick organizing um, video, how to make that, so make sure to watch it. I think it's called Organize Your Lipstick save the planet or something like that. <laughs> I can't remember, I have so much videos already. But anyway, I made these compartments out of paper cardboards. Actually, they're just like, you know, thick paper. And, uh, but it's stiff enough that, you know, it's giving me a good, you know, kind of compartments, you know, once it's built. And what I did is that I glued that right into a harder cardboard. So this is just a harder cardboard. It's actually a box cover from I think it was a jewelry box or something. Anyway, so any stiff cardboard will work, so just glue that in there. And then for the compartments, just measure it so that it fits the jar that you're organizing, okay? The five gram jars are organizing. Okay, so once you finish that and you have a tray just like this, it's easy. You just kind of organize your jars and it fits just like there. And once you fill all of the compartments, it should look like this. So it's really, really cool. All right, and it's really, it, it's really easy to find the colors because the lids are already labeled. So this is what I'm talking about. You don't have to keep flipping the bottom, you know, for you to read the colors. It's already on the lid. And one thing that's great if you do this concept, they're stackable. You just put it on top of each other. As long as you don't make them too high because it's going to fall off. But once it's filled, it's got a good weight to it that it's going to stay on top of each other. Now, one thing that I like is to just make them wide enough that you can actually grab it so that way you can lift it, you know, so you can look at the bottom layers, all right? So that's one idea for you guys, and hopefully that's something that you can use, especially if you have a smaller space. 
Okay, so another idea that I have is basically using a media organizer. So this is a paper sorter organizer that you find in office supply stores. It's all over the internet. Just find them online. And they come in different kinds, you know, from $16 for the cardboard kind to the fancier kind that costs like $100, $150 and um, made out of wood, mahogany, cherry, whatever, you know. And the key is to make sure that the shelves actually slips out. So it has the sliding shelves, okay? So that's the key. So that way you can pull it out and look at the colors. All right? And what you need to do, actually this one is actually from Michael's. And it's $30, but I used a 50% off coupon. So those coupons are really handy and it costed me $15. Now this originally came with just the three shelves, okay? And what I did is I added more shelves by buying just a little bit of scrap um, boards from Home Depot. Now, on the side over here, I'm going to pull this one out and show you. So basically they're just, you know, board, you know, like wood boards that you can find. You can get these custom cut at Home Depot or where you get lumber and stuff like that, you can definitely do that. So just kind of like, you know, get the measurement of the main frame of whichever paper organizer you got. And what I did is that if you look kind of like on the side over here, these are wood, kind of like L-shaped crown molding wood that I just kind of screwed in uh, using uh, wood screws. And so definitely something that you can get your boyfriend, your husband, maybe your dad involved, and just create like a rail Okay, you can use metal if you find those, but wood is usually sufficient. And it's strong enough that it's going to hold my extra shelves. Okay, now, on this board, I actually added a frame. Okay, and this is going to prevent the jars from sliding off the side. And what I used are craft boards, or actually they're called balsa wood, you know, like craft woods. And they come in like different lengths, two feet or three feet, and they're cents. They're like 99 cents at Michael's, okay? And what they look like, it's right behind me. And they look like this, all right? They're just balsa wood, all right? And they're really lightweight wood, craft wood. And you can buy this at any hobby store, craft store, Michael's. And what I did is I framed the around. I used a little bit of glue and then I stapled, I used staples, all right, to kind of hold them in place, all right, because the wood is soft enough that you can just staple it. And of course, the backboard is hard enough that it's going to hold that staple. And then in the middle part right here, I did kind of like a window pane pattern. And this is kind of going to separate the jars as well, so it's going to look more organized. I tried it without this and just filled it and it looks kind of blah and <laughs> so so I ha so I added the <laughs> so I added the middle part the, you know the separators on the center and then you just simply slip that right into the rail and then slide it in and you're set to go now this is what it looks like filled you guys are gonna love it there you go see how organized that is and it's amazing. I love it. And you can organize it the way you wanted it. I like doing it chromatically, which means I arrange it by colors. So all the reds are together, all the blues are together, all the purples are together. And uh, then I arrange it from light to dark. And it's just appealing to the eye that way. So that's definitely another idea for you guys. So wondering how you can organize, you know, the colors or maybe your palettes. This applies to eyeshadow palettes, you know arrange them from light to dark, you know, the, of the same color tone. And uh, this is what it looks like once it's organized. And then again, you can just pull this out, look at the color, pick whatever you want. And once you're done, you just slide it back right into the paper organizer, which is now a five gram jar organizer, yay. And as you can see down here, I also um, added some pigment jars, you know, just your average pigment jars that looks like this, you know, where usually pigments and glitters are sold in, all right? And I also have these one ounce jars, the huge one ounce jars that you can get from mineralized companies, like if you're buying mica or pigments, you know, natural pigments like iron oxides and stuff like that, and you buy one ounces, they come in these one ounce jars. So it fits nicely in there. 
and then you'll be more organized. See how cool that is? Well, anyway, thank you so much for joining me today, guys. Until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!